These are smart glasses that Facebook made with Ray-Ban. I am so excited. Look, I'm gonna record you. I'm recording you right now. Do you see that little light? Say hi. Wave. <laughs> What's up everyone? My name is Sarah D. She rhymes with Peachy. Welcome to another video. Uh, what is so cool about these is Facebook, you know, approached Ray-Ban, a very reputable company, obviously, when it comes to sunglasses. So I think people are already gonna be familiar with the look and the style. And then they added those two cameras, plus a microphone, plus speakers to listen to music without headphones. It's actually like a pretty crazy experience. I, I can't wait to try it, but let's start with unboxing these. Okay, I specifically asked for the round ones because they, they uh, do better on my face. So shout out, thanks guys. This looks like very nice packaging. Okay, so we got Ray-Ban Stories round, shiny black frame with green lenses. Ooh! So these uh, glasses are coming in at $299. Uh, the Ray-Bans that I have just for, you know, normal sunnies, those are about, I think like 130 and I have a few pairs of those. So obviously, I guess if you're gonna have tech built in, you know, the price, the price will reflect that. Okay, the case is a really nice leather, super hard and sturdy. Oh, okay, this is giving me major uh, Snapchat spectacles vibes. I'm sorry, Facebook, I just had to say it. But the best part of this is one, because it's Ray-Ban, I'm going to expect a higher quality of glasses. Already just touching these, it doesn't seem as like thick and bulky as I would have expected. Um, the spectacles, Snapchat spectacles that originally came out in 2016, in the second version in 2018, those were just like, those were pretty bulky. And the first iteration of those had those yellow circles around them. And so here, as you can tell, you it's actually kind of hard to even see the cameras, which is really great because, hey, these are sunglasses first, right? So you can see the two cameras on the side. I think it's time to try these bad boys on. Moment of truth. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh, do I have a big head? They're already a little tight, but oh. How are these green lenses? They look extremely dark. Are you like a green tint? Do they look like normal glasses or do they look somewhat special? Okay, they're cute. They're cute. I like them. I like them. There is a USB-C um, little port back here and you're going to charge the case and when you're done with the sunglasses, you can put them back in the case and as you can see, they charge in the case. This is going to have a battery life of like six hour normal use and then if you were just constantly using them, you know, like shooting videos with the camera and playing music and podcasts via the speakers, um, talking on the phone, that would be three hours of continuous battery life, which I think is, is reasonable for the size of the arm. As you can see here, this is the button you're going to press to capture the video and then it's a long press to capture the photos. As you guys can see here, there is a physical switch. This is going to physically turn the camera on and off. So it's like actually hardwired to the cameras. So, you know, Facebook wants to prioritize privacy here and make sure like, hey, if you want those cameras off, they're off. As you can see here on the right, right next to the Ray-Ban logo is where that connector is going to be to charge. And basically you drop them like this. There's kind of like a magnet that holds it in place. And then you have an LED indicator that shows you, hey, these classes are charging. Okay, so let's look what is in the box. Download the Facebook View app. That's how you're gonna interact with your content. You'll be able to share things, you know, obviously straight to Instagram and Facebook stories. Honestly, uh, for me personally, I use Instagram stories all the time. I don't think I've used Snapchat in, well, honestly, since the spectacles too. So it's been like three or four years. I just don't use Snapchat. So something uh, that, you know, looks good, is shareable straight to the apps that I actually use. I think it's gonna make more sense for people like me. So you have safety and warranty. So this is all of the literature. Oh, you have this very nice, very soft case. I imagine this is for just transporting your glasses outside of the case because if you put the glasses in the case with this, you won't be able to charge. So it's good to have that option. Let's see, we have some more literature, the reference guide. I'm very excited to take a phone call with these uh, glasses, see how the quality is. And then included in the box is a USB-C to USB cable for charging. Awesome, fantastic. Okay, so let's connect this to the View app before we go out and about. All right, let's get your glasses paired and up to date. Okay, so to connect via Bluetooth, uh, we start by turning on the glasses slide and hold the power switch over here here um, towards the lens until the notification LED starts blinking white. Looking for a white LED. Okay, we are getting a green light. 
on the other side. Notifications everywhere. <laughs> Choose your glasses below. Ray-Ban round. Oh, this is so exciting. So we're gonna Bluetooth pair them. Activating. I don't know if I've mentioned this uh, yet, but these two cameras, they are five megapixel cameras. The video that it will be recording is 1414 by 1414. So it will be a square and then it will crop accordingly. View would like to find and connect to the devices on your local network. So we're downloading an update. Okay, so we got update. I'm updating sunglasses right now. What a weird world we live in. <laughs> okay, here we go. Turn on push notifications to get important info on your phone's lock screen. Okay, fine, I'll allow. Just this once. So there is a button on the glasses to capture the photos or video, but you can also use Facebook Assistant. So you can just say like, hey Facebook, take a video. So we're gonna set up that assistant. What's interesting about this LED inside the glasses, you're gonna be able to kind of notice, hey, a light's going off. So when it's white, that means it's active, it's recording, green, ready to use, orange, there's an error or the battery's low, and then red means the glasses are shutting down. But luckily, even if they shut down, you still have a nice pair of Ray-Bans that you can wear. Um, you forget that you don't need battery to block out the haters. <laughs> okay, this is so exciting. All right, let's test this out. I wonder if the assistant is already working. Hey, Facebook, take a video. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so when I did that, the LED popped up and when it started recording, I got a little notification because remember there's speakers in here. So I got that audio feedback that it was recording and it's still recording looking around. I wonder if you can say, hey, Facebook, stop recording. And it stopped, doo doo. You have a little notification, import your first photos. And... Okay, that was fun. That was like a genuine, I'm living in the future moment. That was cool, I like that. The visual and audio feedback was really great. Okay, so to import your uh, videos and photos, just tap the button and join your glasses. Wi-Fi network, Ray-Ban, oh, okay. Do you hear this? This is the podcast I was listening to, guys. Okay, one thing I'm already noticing. Oh my God. Okay, so once you start just holding your glasses, you might be pushing buttons. That was the audio playback from the video. So it's already hooked up to my glasses. So the playback from the audio, you're gonna hear in the glasses. Everyone stop. Oh, I can do the first call. Okay, here we go. Hello. Oh yes. Yes, where are you? Okay, all right, bye. That was so cool, I just took my first phone call using the microphone and speaker from these Ray-Ban smart glasses, or Facebook and Ray-Ban. We don't wanna give Ray-Ban all of the credit here. That was so cool. Um, could you hear it? Okay, so the, the speaker is pretty loud, so there is going to be, um, you know, kind of like a little whisper of what you're listening to to other people if they're close, but, um, I heard that phone call so clear and he was understanding me. He was like, yes, yes, yes. And the phone automatically connected to it and now the video is loaded. So let's look at the video. That, am I gonna wear these everywhere? <laughs> I'm like, I need, I think I need like prescription glasses. Okay, whatever, I'm excited about it. Okay, I can already tell it's pretty grainy, but my glasses, the cameras were pointing away from the light source, which wasn't the best. So low light test. When it started recording, I got a little, Looking around. I wonder if you could say, hey, Facebook, stop recording. Okay, so the quality actually isn't that bad. Like it looks, it looks really good, even considering that I was pointing towards where the light wasn't. So you can go in here, you can enhance, uh, you can crop things, trim it. Um, and then you can also save it to your camera roll. And you know, that obviously allows you to upload it anywhere, not just Instagram or Facebook and then you can create montages. So let's see what it looks like, just sharing it straight to Instagram. Okay, so it's interesting, uh, when I share it straight to Instagram, it kind of stays in that 14 by 14 and then you kind of have to zoom in. So if you want to do that crop, I'm guessing that's something that you do in the app before. So we'll go here, maybe we'll do crop, and then, okay, here, I mean, that's pretty easy. So there's a portrait setting, you do that. So it looks like it's just doing like a center crop here. So then from here, you can say done and then share 
to Instagram. Okay, perfect. And then it's uploaded to Instagram just like that. Already, this is so cool. I'm so excited, but I kind of want to go out in the real world and test things out. And one person comes to mind, my fiance, John, he's a skateboarder. So when he's out and about filming his Instagram content, he does it, you know, with a separate camera um, on a tripod because he doesn't have hands free. And I'm starting to think that these will kind of be perfect for that scenario. So let's go hang out with him. And then we have a special guest at the end to say a few more words. Ready to... Yeah, I'm already sweating a little bit. So. I love it. This is my Fianca, John Hill, skater boy. It's weird that I don't have a camera in your I face. I know, dude. Welcome to the worst skate park in all of the Dallas area. But it was close. We didn't close. have to drive far. Exactly. So I'm already sweating and I'm dying, but... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right. I'm taking them over. Oh wait, is this how we're doing it? Yep. Oh shoot. Hey, look, cool. So whatever I see is what yeah. it's going to be filming. Let's see if I can aim this a little better. Good job, John. How do you how do you feel? These things are amazing. You, I feel so good. It's I hot. hate that you look cooler. I don't look cooler. Than, you look better than, than, than I you do. Always. <laughs> okay, so what's unique? too about these is the actual color is really good and that's something that Boz said who we're about to interview right after this he was like yeah when we were doing the colors we thought about what do like film pictures look like you know if you're going to be taking pictures of your kids things you want to remember you want it to look good straight out of the camera too even though the quality isn't the best it's not going to be crisp they kind of hide uh you know the noise with maybe deepening the colors but it's in a tasteful way so Good job, John. That Thank was cool. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, this is this is really Come fun. Come by any time. Yep. All right, now we're going to talk to Facebook exec, Boz. Get him, Boz. <laughs> Tell him what it is. <laughs> Maybe just give a little intro of who you are for my audience, and then we'll just hop into it. My name is Andrew Bosworth. People call me Boz, and I lead the Facebook Reality Labs division of Facebook, working on augmented reality, virtual reality, cool stuff like the Ray-Ban stories, glasses, uh, portal, uh, but my my history of the company goes deep. I've been there for almost 16 years. Newsfeed, messenger, groups. It's always been about communication and connection. And these glasses are, are kind of the next step uh, in that path. So how do those lenses work? You know, is it, <laughs> yeah, totally. how are they stitching things together? Is it just one camera capturing or is it both? And then, yeah, get, get a little nerdy for me here. We have two cameras on there and that allows us to do a couple of things. One of which is, uh, you know, creative formats. So the ability to do, you know, 3D photo. So it's a photo that has volume, volumetric photos. And that's a little something different. That's something that people don't get to have with your everyday cameras. The microphones, it's not one microphone, it's three microphones. And we, we do what's called beam forming. So that way we can separate out your voice from background noise. So even if you're walking, it's a little windy day, you can do things, you can still have a conversation. And the person that you're speaking with is hearing your voice loud and clear. They're not picking up a neighborhood noise. But by far the biggest challenge was we had to fit it in to, uh, you know, the weight of one teaspoon of salt heavier than normal Wayfarer glasses. The engineering isn't always about features. Sometimes it's about blending in with the design and being lightweight. Uh, and, and that's where we really spent a lot of energy engineering on this project. You know, obviously Facebook owns Oculus <laughs> and, you know, you guys are starting with this with smart glasses, with Facebook reality labs. And so I was just wondering if you can kind of comment on like, where is this future going? Because yeah. obviously with VR, as you guys had recently announced the like desktop thing, yeah, where it's kind of like work, yeah, work in reality. That, that was so cool. And then, you know, with glasses, I can definitely see, you know, an AR future where yeah, it's kind sure. of layering on this digital layer as you interact with the outside world. So where do you kind of see those worlds converging? Yeah. I mean, I think 
the, the Ray-Ban stories are really a step in the direction of augmented reality. I mean, think about the story I just told about it, where we're talking about how do you be both present physically and not have to choose between your phone and your surroundings. Augmented reality is all about that feature. This may be a, a, a version of it that's strictly oriented towards creation. You know, you've got audio, but otherwise you're, you're capturing. But you can also do that with consumption. There's no reason you couldn't have digital objects blending in with the real world around you if we had the displays uh, mm -hmm. that could fit into the glasses and be light enough and thermally efficient enough and performance enough and bright enough to do it. And we have those in the lab. We're working on getting those into consumer glasses. That's going to be the, the work of a decade. We'll see stuff long before the decade, end of the decade, but it's going to be the work of a decade to get really dialed for consumers. Um, but that is, this is a step in the path of that direction. But virtual reality is, is actually here now and it's mm -hmm. doing well. We're already past kind of the inflection point for virtual reality, though a lot of people don't know it yet, um, just like they didn't know it when the smartphone passed the inflection point. Um, and so with Oculus Quest 2, for example, the product that we have in market, it's a great virtual reality experience. Right now it's primarily gaming and entertainment, but as you point out, We've built it, we just launched workrooms. It's a great collaborative experience. We really see a rich future for that for people who are working from home. Um, and you can do things in virtual reality that you can do no other way. There is no other way to convince yourself that you have moon gravity. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But in virtual reality, boom, you want moon gravity, you got it. Yeah. And so, uh, and virtual reality also blends in, we've got cameras on there, we call it pass-through mode. And you can have mixed reality experiences right there. So in workrooms, you can see your own hands and your keyboards mm -hmm. that you can still type even though you're in a virtual meeting. So these things, there is a spectrum here. There's a continuum here. Uh, one thing that's so important to us at Facebook is whether it's virtual reality or augmented reality, are we using these tools to connect to each other? And that's such a critical part of it. Boz, thank you so much for chatting with us. Anything else you want to put out into the world to specifically the Peachy fam who are watching this video? Well, the, the Peachy fam, listen, <laughs> this is one thing I love about this product. The Ray-Ban stories is the perspective, the point of view of the camera, and the way that we've chosen to process the images. It's really vibrant, uh, it kind of reminiscent of old film. It's not about resolution. It's really about the vibe that you get off of the image. And you talked about in one of your videos, you know, hey, what if you take a pictures with a real camera, mm -hmm. which is, uh, is taken usually from that perspective. We've, been, we've really, it's amazing how much of our images that we see have been taken from these other kind of weird yeah, waist yeah. level, you know, chest level perspectives. So I'm finding the storytelling that these devices are capable of to be really rich. And I hope the peachy fam gets into it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love new tech. This seems new. Smart glasses, folding phones, 2021, sign me up. Um, I, I don't think this video was sponsored by anyone, so hey, it's sponsored by me. Make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, because there's a lot of tech coming up and you don't want to miss it. You want to be here on Sarah Peachy's YouTube channel. Okay, like, sub, stay peachy. Okay, bye. Hi, it's Sarah Dietrich Rhymes with Peachy. Welcome to another video.